Hi everyone, in this video I want to explain why I think the competition that is pursuing self-driving cars is not even close and doesn't even stand a chance against Tesla. And the biggest reason why I think that is because of cost. The company that's going to produce electric vehicles at the lowest cost and provide that self-driving technology at the lowest cost is going to be able to undercut the competition in the long run. The biggest factor of the cost is how many sensors are added to these cars. Most of Tesla's competition like Whammo and Cruise use LiDAR and HD maps, radar and cameras. LiDAR emits billions of laser pulses per second, 360 degrees around the car. It then measures the time it takes these beams to return after reflecting off surfaces. Using this information, the system creates a detailed 3D map of the objects and environments surrounding the car. Since these sensors emit light, they can work during the day and the night, but they are unreliable in bad weather like rain or snow. These LiDAR systems are about $7,500 each, and there are three on a WAMO car. Another cost that is hard to quantify is creating and maintaining HD maps. These HD maps need to be updated at least weekly because there are always changes happening to the roads. How it works is the LiDAR system on the car compares their surrounding environment with the 3D map to determine their location down to the centimeter level accuracy. It's basically a car on rails that always knows where it is. And if something happens to the road surface and the, the map hasn't been updated, then the car does not know what is going on. The camera system is needed for things like traffic lights and construction signs. It is also there to override the LiDAR system in case something like a plastic bag is in front of the car. Now in Tesla's case, they use eight cameras surrounding the car. These cameras are able to create a 3D visual image using artificial intelligence called the occupancy network. We use our brain and our eyes to drive. So the way Tesla's going about it is they're using artificial intelligence and eight cameras all around the car for it to drive as well. Trying to find the cost of these driverless cars is not that easy, but I found a Forbes article back in 2021 where they're talking to the CEO of Whammo and the CEO said that their driverless car costs about as much as a well-equipped Mercedes-Benz S-Class which retails for about $180,000. And on top of that, you gotta account for the HD mapping as well, which I don't know how much that would cost, but assume it's not cheap. And then when we compare it to the Tesla Model 3, it retails for $46,990. And so this is drastically lower than Whammo's cost. And I'm assuming Whammo's cars cost about the same as all the other competitors' cars, because Whammo's been at it for a long time, and they've been really trying to reduce the cost of their equipment on their cars. And uh, Cruise is very, very similar to Whammo as well. So yeah, we know that these other driverless cars are trying to bring down their cost of their systems, the LiDAR and their radar and their cameras. And a lot of them are developing the technology in-house to try to drive down these costs. But when you compare the Mercedes-Benz S-Class with the current Model 3, the Model 3 is about 75% cheaper than the Mercedes-Benz S-Class. And then in the latest earnings call, Elon was saying that their next generation of technology, they want to cut that price in half. So it's not like Tesla's standing still here. They're still trying to reduce costs as much as possible as well. It's, it just seems to me that there's a big giant gap on these costs here. If Tesla's able to solve self-driving cars just using artificial intelligence and cameras, then cost-wise, there is no chance. Now let that sink in. So another reason why I think the competition doesn't stand a chance against Tesla is because they don't have the fleet data to find the edge cases when driving. Like most of driving is pretty easy. Well, not that easy, but 99% of it is pretty easy. It's those parts that are weird and different that are hard to do. And that's where the computer has an issue with as well. So you need a big giant fleet and able to find those cases that are different when you're driving. And all the other car companies do not have a fleet they just have like 300 cars for Whammo's case. What Tesla does is they use their fleet to try to find those edge cases, and then they train the neural networks on the edge cases. Because the competition does not have a fleet, they are not providing a general solution. What I mean is you can't just get into their car and drive it anywhere, where what Tesla is offering and what they're trying to solve is a general solution. And here is Andre Kaparthi, the former director of AI, that explains how ridiculous their solution is. What do you think about the idea of the, that the other companies are forming high resolution maps and constraining heavily the geographic regions in which they operate? Is that approach not, in your, in your view, 
um, not going to scale over time to the entirety of the United yeah. States. I think it'll take too as long. you mentioned, like they pre-map all the environments and they need to refresh the map and they have a perfect centimeter level accuracy map of everywhere they're going to drive. It's crazy. How are you going to, when we're talking about autonomy actually changing the world, we're talking about the deployment on the, on the global scale of autonomous systems for transportation. And if you need to maintain a centimeter accurate map for Earth <laughs> or like for many cities and keep them updated, it's a huge uh, dependency that you're taking on, huge dependency. It's, it's a massive, massive dependency. And now you need to ask yourself, do you really need it? And humans don't need it, um, right? So it's, it's very useful to have a, a low level map of like, okay, the connectivity of your road, you know that there's a fork coming up. Uh, when you drive an environment, you sort of have that high level understanding. It's like a small Google map. And uh, Tesla uses Google map, uh, like similar kind of mm -hmm. resolution information in the system, but it will not pre-map environments to semi level accuracy. It's a crutch, it's a distraction, it costs entropy and it uh, diffuses the team, it dilutes the team, and you're not focusing on what's actually necessary, which is a computer vision problem. So just to summarize things up, is Tesla is going to have a huge cost advantage in the long run, and it's going to be very difficult for a company to try to produce EVs at a lower cost than Tesla, since Tesla's margins are twice as much as other OEM companies. And then the other thing is, they got to try to provide a general solution uh, so they've got to create the fleet, which is going to take at least a couple years to ramp up. And then they got to train their neural networks based off that fleet, which takes years itself. You can see how this is a really big barrier for the competition. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more like it, let me know. Uh, and if you want to see me eat food from around the world, I do a food review channel called Jonesing for Food. And uh, I just eat food in front of the camera. <laughs> 